Testing, testing, test, test, test. Let's give this another try. Hey everybody, this is Mark, and today I'm doing something a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to talk about a new microphone. So I've been using this Blue Yeti Nano. So this is a Samson 2, or Samson QU2. It comes with uh, the microphone, it comes with a shock arm you can see here, and comes with some Knox gear. I, oh, that's to mount the microphone, it's a shock mount. And it also comes with one of these things, pop filter. So I'm going to set this up and then I'll be right back and we'll see what it sounds like. Huh, I didn't realize it, but this also comes with a really basic stand. So I, I knew it had the shock arm boom mount, which I wanted, but uh, I can also just uh, do it the low hassle way like this. Um, right now I haven't done a whole bunch of configuration of audio settings or anything. Uh, I do still have the air conditioner running. It's pretty loud, to my ears at least. And I can also hear the refrigerator and a number of other sounds. So see how this sounds, and then uh, maybe I'll try the uh, the rest of the, the equipment. So the other items are this arm to mount the microphone. This, well, I guess this to directly mount the microphone. It's some the uh, shock mount and then this little vise to connect everything to the desk. Oh, and I guess one other thing I, I didn't open is, or I didn't take out is got some, some kind of video or I guess audio cables for equipment I don't own. And uh, the, the pop filter, but I think even if I say pop, it doesn't really turn out that bad. I guess I'll know after the video. Okay, the boom arm is hooked back up. The air conditioner is cranked, but I can't even see it on the levels here when I stop talking. Like so, one all the way down to zero. This is a dynamic mic, so as I go around the side of it, it will cut out a bit. Not too badly, but as I go further around, say if I'm talking from here, it may be difficult to hear me at all. This is a dynamic mic, so there will be a gradual drop off as my angle gets worse. And if I start talking from the back of it, then it will be very difficult to hear me at all. Um, I think this will work pretty well, but I literally just opened it. So uh, really just let's see how my uh, recordings go for the next month or so. Then I'll have a better idea, after, especially after I've done some editing, uh, how much of an improvement this is for me over the Blue Yeti. The nice thing about this boom arm is it brings the mic a bit closer to my mouth, which means that it's easier to block out sounds away from the mic, like my refrigerator, which is buzzing right now, or my neighbor's dog, which is barking and is still probably going to be picked up regardless of what kind of mic this is. But uh, I'm not that sold on having all this equipment all the time. It feels like it would be a little bit aggressive to have this set up and go on a Zoom call. But uh, if it works for recording my screencasts, then I think it's a win. I'll uh, keep you posted. And if you have any comments about the quality of the sound or, or whatever in upcoming videos, I would really appreciate hearing about it. See you next time.